Good morning, class. Our topic today is Advantages and Disadvantages of Organic Aquaculture. Quarter 2, Lesson 1. For Week 4, Technology and Livelihood Education, TLE8. Aquaculture is the cultivation of aquatic organisms such as fish, shellfish, and even plants. This term refers to the cultivation of marine and freshwater species and can range from land-based to deep sea production. Present for several millennia, aquaculture has been improving with time. Today, the ponds are located in ponds enclosures. Fish swim freely in large net structures in the protected coastal areas. This means they have continuous access to clean water and exercise, so the fish are healthy, lean, and firm. Advantages of Organic Aquaculture Organic foods are free of dangerous pesticides and antibiotics. Recycles animal waste back into the farm. Environment-friendly organic products are more nutritional, tasty, and good for health. Advantages Environment-friendly Promotes sustainable development. Healthy and tasty food. Inexpensive process. It uses organic inputs. Generates income through exports. Source of employment. It is more labor-intensive, hence it generates more employment. Disadvantages of organic aquaculture. Organic aquaculture gives more nutritious and safe food. It is popular for growing organic foods. That is thought to have become healthier and safer. Perhaps ensures food safety from farm to plate. This process is more eco-friendly than conventional farming. Our government should increase awareness of biological farming. Disadvantages. Less output. Higher price. The lack of awareness. Organic products generally demand a higher price due to higher demand. They have a shorter lifespan due to the absence of artificial preservatives. They rarely subsidized farming methods. Rigorous certification process. Worked example. Organic fish farming is a newly developed concept and is still in the early stages of development and strives to reestablish a proper balance in aquaculture systems for the benefit of the fish, the environment, and consumers. The feed, mainly consisting of fish meal, oil, cereal-based products, vitamins and minerals, etc., should be organically produced. And it is not an easy task to bring down and remove the level of organochlorine pollutants in the marine fish that are used for conversion into fish meal. Fish fed with natural ingredients from certified organic agriculture and sustainable fisheries feeds are particularly formulated to match exactly what the fish would eat in the wild. Lesson Activity as a grade 8 student, in what way can you contribute to protecting these advantages and disadvantages?